Okay, so we have this question, question one, part B, 0 0.03 multiplied by 0 0.1762. The good thing about it, we can punch this in our calculator and get an answer, the exact answer. You're, you're expected to do that. Don't go trying to multiply that just like that without a calculator. So we did that. We punched this problem in the calculator and we get the result 0 0.005286. So let's write that down, and that's our exact answer, 0 0.005286. So we're going to take that exact answer and use it to do the other parts. Remember, this exact answer is the same value as what we have here, the original problem. So what we're going to do, we're going to correct it to two decimal places, meaning after the point, we want to write up before the point, and after the point, we want to count every place after the point right up to two. So the first place after the point, we have this zero here. That's the first place, our first decimal place. And when we reach this zero here, that zero is in the second decimal place. All right, so since we want up to two decimal places, we write up to this second zero after the point. At the point, we have one, two values or digits after the point. So do we keep it as that, as 0, 0.00? Well, we always want to check the very first digit that we're cutting off. Remember, we're going to cut off the rest. But the very first digit we're going to cut off, if it's 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, in other words, 5 or more, we add 1 to the required decimal place. So it's not going to be 0, 0.00. It's in fact going to be 0, 0.0. This is going to become 1. Why 1? Because we're going to add 1 to this digit. Why? Because the very next digit is five or more so let's look at the answer that we have here this answer is 0 0.01 how many decimal places do we have in this answer here well two decimal places how we know because after the point we have two digits so we have two decimal places let's move on to the third one which is to correct the original or exact answer to three significant figures now with significant figures, we look at the number. So this is the exact answer that we're going to round off or approximate to three significant figures. Now, significant figures, significant figures are counted from the first non-zero digit in the number onwards. So if you look at this number here, made up of several digits, going from left to right, what is the first digit that's not zero? The five, correct. So this is our first significant figure. That's our first significant figure. Okay, so we have how many significant figures? We have one, two, three, four, four significant figures. But we're asked to only take three significant figures. What digit do we start writing from? Do we start writing from five or do we start writing from zero when correcting this number to uh, three significant figures? If you say we start from 5, no, that's not correct. If you say we start from 0, that's correct. Even though we're writing these zeros from the beginning of the number, they are not significant. They're what we call placeholders. They're holding the place value of these other uh, digits. For instance, this 5 here is 5 thousandth. Because you have tenth, hundredth, thousandth. So this 5 should remain as 5 thousandth. Okay, and that's why we have these zeros at the beginning. Still, we want to maintain the place values of all the digits. However, so far we have one significant figure with some place holders at the beginning. All right? Remember, we only want three significant figures. So this is our second significant figure. This is our third significant figure. And so we're writing up to the third significant figure. But we might ask this question. Since we were only writing from, from zero, well, counting from the significant figure five, two, and eight, we always ask ourselves, do we write the required significant figure or do we add one to it? Well, we'll check the next digit. If the next digit is five or more, we add one to it. So it's going to be 0 0.00529. And if you look at this number here, this number, that is an approximated number. The first significant figure is five. The second is two. And the third is nine. We had eight. We round it up to nine because the very next digit after the eight is five or more. 
So we have three significant figures here with some placeholders at the beginning. So this number is close to the original number. When we're approximating, the original exact value must be close to the rounded value. All right. Okay, so let's move on to the standard form now. So standard form for scientific notation. Again, we go back to the original, the original exact answer. And we're going to write it in standard form. Now remember, standard form must be written in the form a times 10 to the nth power. Where a is a number between what? a is a number between 1 and 10. And n is an integer. An integer meaning it's going to be positive or a negative whole number. Okay, so usually represented by the letter Z. It's a positive or a negative whole number, or I could say zero as well. So let's try to get this original number here written in scientific notation, otherwise known as standard form. So what we do, we want to get this number as a number between 1 and 10, first of all. In other words, we want to get the A portion. Remember, A is the number between 1 and 10. So where would I put this point or shift this point so that this number is now between 1 and 10? Where would you put the point? If you put it here, it's not between 1 and 10. It's less than 1. Put it here, it's still less than 1. Put it here, it's now 5 point something. And so now it's between 1 and 10. So we're going to move this point and shift it between, and put it right after the first non-zero digit. So that's the, the, the right way. Not necessarily it's the right way of saying it, but it's a faster way of looking at it. We put the point right after the first non-zero digit. And so the first non-zero digit is 5. We put the point after it. And so it's now a number between 1 and 10. So it's, it's actually 5.2. Eight, six. Now you might ask the question, what happened to the zeros here? Well, if I put the point after the 5, having zeros before the 5 doesn't make sense. Because this, is a whole, this whole number here is 5. Remember, if you have a point, then you have the whole number portion and the fractional part. And so the whole number portion now is actually 5. But do we need to write zeros in front of 5? No. We can write 5 just as it is, as a whole number, with no need no zero in front of the whole number. So the point here separates the whole number portion from the fractional part. So this 5 is our whole number, and the fractional part is the point 286. All right, so, but this number here, this number that we have written here, is not the same as this number. We want to basically rewrite this number in standard form, so whatever I have here should be the same as this. This is the number we are rewriting in standard form. They should be equal. How to make them equal? Well, I'll multiply by a power of 10. Right? When I multiply by 10, I move the point one place to the what? The right. So it's now 52.86. If I multiply by the second power of 10, in other words, 100, I move it two places to the right. So it's now 528.6. If I multiply by the third power of 10, which is 1,000, is now 5,286, but we do not want it to be bigger than 5.286. Why? Because the original number is less than 1. The original number is 0 point something. The original number is 0 0.005286. So how do we get it to be less than 5 that we have here? Well, we need to ensure we shift the point back this direction to the left. So because we want to shift it to the left, we use a negative power. Instead of a positive, a positive power will move the point to the right. A negative power will move the point to the left. So the point is now currently between 5 and 2. So to get it back where it was before, we need to move it how many places to the left? 1. That's 1 shift. 2 shifts. 3 shifts to the left. And so that would be negative 3. So a quicker way to look at it is this. As long as the original number start with 0, you're going to have a negative power of 10. All right? A negative power. We're raising 10 to a negative power, in other words. Some people look at it this way. Okay, I can count the number of zeros I have. I have three zeros, so the power will be negative 3.
but you don't want to align negative with zeros, right? But the point though is, some people look at it this way, okay, I have three zeros, I should have um, negative three as my power. Okay, but basically it's that where the point is now, between the five and two, if we shift it to get the original, we will move it once, twice, three times to the left, so negative three. Okay, so this is the final solution in standard form.